Hello everyone, welcome back to Sinted Moments channel. I'm Jolima, I hope you're all doing well. And today I will talk about my top 5 favorite designer fragrance brands. So, a um, couple of videos ago I talked about my top 5 favorite niche fragrance houses. So, I think it's about time to talk about the designer side of things because after all, it's where everything started. Um, so, I will talk about each fragrance house in a specific order. So first, a number five spot uh, might be a shock for some of you or not, uh, but number five, it's Chanel. And my favorite designer fragrance from the house of Chanel is Allure Homme Edition Blanche. Uh, it was, and it is uh, my number one summer fragrance. I love, love this lemon meringue pie. So, so alluring and yet, well, allure, uh, and yet so seductive and it's very versatile, it's quite masculine, although it can lean unisex, but it's more in the masculine side of things. Um, very creamy, citrusy, slightly spicy, wonderful fragrance right here. But why it's just on number five? Well, still it's on my top five, but just a number five because the house of Chanel for me uh, Chanel has a standard record and they don't deviate from that uh, Chanel when you associate fragrances in the men's side of things uh, when you associate Chanel you associate gentleman classy old-school type of scents uh, I mean you have Pour Monsieur, which is a wonderful fragrance. You have Egoist, um, and you have Platinum Egoist, which I have and I absolutely love. Uh, you have Allure Homme Sport Edition Blanche, the original Allure. And the majority of them are in this more masculine, elegant, classy, refined type of scents, more transparent. Uh, they have depth into them, but not as much as I would like to, um, and they don't deviate from this record. Uh, and then of course you have Bleu de Chanel, uh, where the blue fragrance trend started. Um, but, so you see, this is what I meant to be, uh, this is what I meant. Um, Chanel doesn't deviate from this type of scents, and I like versatility, and more than that, these scents are very versatile, but I want a more wider range of fragrances, and um, although I love classy, versatile, masculine type of scents, but I prefer, and I think you all know, I prefer much more bold, dark, heavy, resinous, sweet fragrances. Uh, so that's why, nonetheless, love Chanel. I like this is Les Exclusives, not my favorite Privé line, um, because again, they all have this type of record, but Coromandel, it's amazing. Uh, Sycamore, it's fantastic. These two are my favorites, and then you have the third one, which is Queer de Russie. Um, but it's not my favorite um, Privé line. So, nonetheless, gotta love Chanel, number five spot. And number four spot, we will go to the house of Thierry Mouglet. Yes, love, love Thierry Mouglet, and my two favorite, all-time favorite designer fragrances from the house of Mouglet are and I think this is quite obvious, Pure Vaughn and Pure Malt. Uh, Pure Malt was my very first blind buy. I did a review way back of Pure Malt, one of my favorite boozy fragrances of all time, and Pure Vaughn. I recently did a side-by-side -side comparison between Pure Vaughn and Naxos by Sergeov. Links will be here. Um, Pure Vaughn, a wonderful sweet cherry tobacco scent. Um, this was where I started to dive into this designer realm, into the designer fragrances. I mean, I mean um, both fragrances are fantastic. The House of Mouglet, it's very unique. I love the creativity of Mouglet and that's why they are in number four spots. Uh, yes, when you will compare with the quality, about quality, when you will compare the quality of Mouglet fragrances with the Chanel's, of course Chanel's it has better quality, or at least they smell of better quality, but Mouglet, it's a very creative house. Uh, tell me a, f a designer fragrance that smell like Pure Malt or even Pure Vaughn. I mean, they start a trend in the Gourmand side, so 
Shout outs to Thierry Mugler, it's one of my favorite designer houses. In number three spot, and a couple of years ago, it was my all time favorite designer fragrance house, but now it's just number three. It's Christian Dio. And why it's just number three? Because although uh, my favorite, and well, before I get, I get into in more detail, um, reason why Dior is just number three, but I will tell you what is my favorite, and I think you all know, uh, but my favorite fragrance from Dior is Dior en Parfum. This is my all-time favorite design of fragrance to this day. <sighs> Leather, iris, has this cow in here. Um, I can detect a very mild touch of rose, uh, but it's very mild, it's very subtle. <sighs> but the leather here, it's wonderful. Love, love, love Dion Parfum. Um, and Jerome, it's my favorite line in the designer fragrances, but why it's just number three? Because of recently releases. I mean, Dior is now focusing in this Sauvage line, which I got tired of. Uh, once, I really did love Sauvage when it first came out in 2015, but I got tired of it and quite frankly I'm really tired and bored of this blue trend and Dior is still keep going with this Dior Sauvage Parfum or the Parfum, I mean, I think Dior now it's just a shadow of what it once was and especially in the Dior Privé line, I mean, what they did, they just killed uh, their fragrances, their best fragrances in the Dior Privé. Dior Privé, the Privé line of Dior was one of my favorites, Fève Delicieuse, although not my favorite, but nonetheless, I really did like Fève Delicieuse. Um, I would love to smell Mitza, Eau Noire, um, I really liked also Bois d'Argent, and now they are just releasing this fresh, floral, soapy fragrances, which Quite frankly, there's tons and tons of fragrances that smell like that in of a fraction of the price. So I don't know what's going on with Dior, that's why it's just number three. Nonetheless, fantastic house, Dior Homme line, it's one of the best designer lines out there, fragrance designer lines out there. So I think nonetheless you can need to try Dior Homme Parfum, which is my favorite, Dior Homme, it's also one of my all-time favorites. Um, but well, number three. Dior. And number two, it's Tom Ford. Man, gotta love Tom Ford. Love Tom Ford. Um, always been my second favorite, always. Um, and my two favorite fragrances, not my favorite, but I have a very special connection with these two fragrances, which are Grey Verve Eau de Parfum, and as you can see, I already wore this a lot, and Tobacco Vigny. Actually, I don't I don't talk about much about the the private line of Tom Ford, um, just because it's hard for me to pull in the top ten list where I have five designers and five niche. I mean, the niche fragrances are already expensive, and if I would put in the designer side, the private line, like it will be a very expensive line, um, and also my top tens are all, work has a suggestion for you, so. That's why I don't talk much about private lines and especially about the Tom Ford, which I have quite a few. But I will talk about a video about just about the private line of Tom Ford and overall the house of Tom Ford in a separate video. Uh, Tobacco Vigny was my interest in the niche world. Yes, this is not a niche fragrance per se, um, but this was a fragrance that, well, made me, uh, made me very curious about what fragrances in this uh, scent character there are right there like I tried this one it was in Lithuania even like uh, it was not even here in Portugal it was in Lithuania and that store they have other fragrances uh, other brands that I never heard of which were niche uh, first smell this I was blown away and then I started to dive into the niche world and here we are Tobacco Vigny, it's one of my all-time favorite tobacco scents, still is. I already did a tobacco top 10 best tobacco fragrances. I will leave the link here also. Love Tobacco Vigny and also has a beautiful, spicy, sweet vanilla. 
Great Vetiver was my entrance in the Tom Ford brand. Um, still one of my favorite vetiver fragrances. Love vetiver and it's all because of Great Vetiver Eau de Parfum. This is a wonderful, classy, sophisticated, fantastic for office scenarios. Tom Ford Great Vetiver, it's a Swiss army type of scent, quite mature, yes, but I think you can wear this. If you love vetiver, Please try Grey Vetiver or the Parfum. Wonderful. Tom Ford has a lot of fantastic offerings. I mean, you have Black Orchid, you have Tom Ford for Men Extreme, and in the private line, you have Tobacco Vanille, of course, Noir de Noir. It's, I mean, you have lots, a lot of fragrances in the private line collection. They, yes, they are a bit overpriced, uh, but very unique. They set the trend, Tom Ford set the trend with Tobacco Vanille, Woodwood, Noir de Noir, I mean you gotta give uh, props for Tom Ford to release these kind of unique fragrances because after these you have also Tuscan Leather and after this you just have inspired fragrances on the originals, the OGs. So big respect, big shout out to Tom Ford, wonderful fragrances, quite unique, although lately again and especially in the private line, the fragrances are a bit... Mm, don't appeal to me all that much. I mean, fucking fabulous was a disaster for me. Big marketing, but the scent character was very disappointing. Lost Cherry, it's a bit better. To, I love the cherry note in there, but still not full bottle worthy. Um, so, and you have a lot of duds in the private line, especially this recent releases have been a lot of duds. Um, and the same I can't say in the designer, in the more designer line, more commercial mainstream line, because you have Noir Anthracite, which was a very unique, not well received, but very unique fragrance nonetheless. Ombre Leather, I mean, that was a great move from Tom Ford. Um, now you have Metallique, which is also quite appealing, slightly uh, floral, creamy, um, very unisex. So I think Tom Ford is working much better in the more mainstream line rather than in the private line, but nonetheless, fantastic house. Tom Ford, number two. And my number one, I think you all know, this year has been the year of, exactly, Guerlain. I've been in love with Guerlain and I think I will still be in love for the next years. Um, I will show you my, not my two favorite, well one of them definitely is, the other one it's a classic in the oriental theme type of sense. Um, so the two fragrances that I have here are Ensemble Mythique, of course, and I recently bought this, it was last month, I have yet to do a fragrance haul video, but it is Chalimar Eau de Parfum. But is really Guerlain a designer house, a designer brand? I mean, because usually when we think of designer brands, we think of brands that make clothing, that are into fashion, it's their core business, fashion, and then they have as a secondary business fragrances. Guerlain, since the beginning, they started to do fragrances and just after they start to dive into the makeup uh, beauty beauty business. So is Guerlain really, really a designer? Well, I mean, it, that will be for another video, but for the sake of this video, um, because Guerlain has a widely variety of fragrances that are very widely available, so I will consider them designer for this video, but it's not clear. Nonetheless, Les Absolus d'Orient, I mean, Ensemble Mythique, it's wonderful, I already have a review about this fragrance, uh, featured on my top 10 best summer fragrances, I mean, you name it, the best ambergris scent right here. Chalimar doesn't need any introduction, I will soon do a review of this beautiful oriental vanilla scent, this is a masterpiece. Wonderful scent, I mean, there's not enough words to describe Chalimar or de Parfum. Uh, I will be wearing this one a lot for the upcoming winter. This is a fantastic, slightly floral, slightly musky, vanilla scent. This is a reference for oriental fragrances, so that's why this for me is a masterpiece and works perfectly on my skin. This is marketed towards women, but I think this is a fairly unisex fragrance. So, 
Guerlain and I have a I have 12 or 13 Guerlain fragrances but nonetheless Guerlain it's a fantastic house with hidden gems a lot of fragrances are widely available in the discounters and you can um, and you can buy them for a very affordable price uh, so that's why that's another reason why Guerlain it's right now my favorite designer fragrance house so guys hope you enjoyed this video tell me in the comments down below what are your favorite de designer fragrance brands and see you in the next video take care guys ciao